As I get older, I find myself going back more and more to playing retro-style classic games. It's not because I feel like I have less time to commit to games that require a larger time investment, and I still do play those as well, it's just retro games are the games I grew up with, and they're just comfortable to me. You guys know what I'm saying. Pick up and play style games really tickle it for me, that's what I know. I mean, if they're good anyway, right? So when new games come out that stay true to their retro roots, I'm all for it. Gotta give them a chance. And today, we got a new game that really scratches that retro style itch for me. I really enjoyed it. So we're taking a look at Cotton Fantasy for the Nintendo Switch. It's also releasing for the PlayStation as well. And to note, previously, late last year, the game was released in Japan as Cotton Rock and Roll. But now, it's finally coming to the West on May 20th, 2022, so right around the corner. So let's go ahead and chat about the game. So I was provided, you know, an early copy for purpose of review, and that's what we're doing, reviewing the game, right? So Cotton Fantasy has eight main stages and six playable characters from the start, with a seventh that you unlock after completing the game for the first time. So the characters that are extra in addition to Cotton anyway, they're from other success franchises, and they all have their own gameplay mechanics. It's kind of interesting. I mean, some are a little more interesting than others, but it does keep the game kind of fresh with different options. An example is the character Fine. She doesn't have lives in the traditional sense. She has a countdown timer running, and every hit makes it lose more time. Collecting enemy crystals increases the time. Then you have Rhea, where her shots level up by grazing enemy bullets. So all the different characters you have here, they have different, you know, weapons, different types of, you know, shots, different types of magic. Some might not have magic. It's pretty cool. And also with each of these characters, they have a special homage stage that you unlock by completing the game with them. And this essentially doubles the stage count. So I'm sure you may be questioning if you do the math here, as there's eight stages, double that, that would be 16 but I said we have six playable characters with a seventh that's unlocked. So the math doesn't really add up. So I'm not exactly sure about this, but there is an eighth playable character, Silk. And I believe she was originally a pre-order bonus for the Japanese version. And I have no clue how you get her here or if she is gonna be available or unlocked. I haven't been able to unlock anything other than the seventh character that I was aware of. Really hoping that we get Silk some way with this version, as her homage stage counts towards that total of 16 stages, from what I understand. So moving on. The game, it's presented in typical Cotton fashion, but more of a bullet hell style versus older releases, and also with 3D character and enemy models, and the backgrounds are 3D rendered as well. Most of the game plays via a 2D plane horizontally, Couple bonus stages, they do change the perspective, but 99.9% .9 of the game is a horizontal shooter. It's very colorful and animated, and, and there's just a lot going on the screen at once. Sometimes there's so much going on with the enemies and bullets coming from all sides, and your character shooting and using magic, it can be very difficult to keep track of what the heck is going on. I mean, with all the effects popping off, the explosions, how fast you're moving through some of the stages, it, it could be a little nuts at times, but that's just how the game is. I mean, it wasn't overly difficult for me playing on the normal difficulty, and I really couldn't think of too many instances of cheap deaths in this game. Even with everything going on, it, it seemed fair and balanced mostly. I can only think of one boss encounter that I had where the attack pattern like really threw me off, just making me wonder what the hell just happened type of thing. But most of the game is fine. I, I thought it was anyway. I mean, this is the type of game I, I really enjoy. And the Cotton franchise has been getting a lot of love lately with plenty of releases of new games, remakes, and you know, new stuff type of, type of thing. And Cotton Fantasy really has a lot going for it in my opinion. But it does require understanding that this is an arcade style game and you won't be playing it for hours on end to complete it for the first time. On normal difficulty, I completed the game in under an hour. And I'm sure on the higher difficulties, if you're good at the game anyway, they probably don't last much longer than that. I mean, it does have a lot of replayability with all the different characters and the homage stages, 
But unfortunately, the one thing with the extra characters doesn't really change a whole lot to the game. Some of them, they do feel quite different than playing as Cotton, but the game doesn't change story-wise to take into account who you are using. At the start of the game and between the stages, there's some really nicely done cutscenes that use a minimalistic animation style that I think it fits fine for the type of game. I actually really enjoyed them. The characters are pretty expressive and, you know, the story is fairly familiar or similar, I guess, if you've played Cotton games before. The only concern is that all the cutscenes and story elements are from Cotton's perspective and not the character that you play as. Unless, of course, you play as Cotton, then it makes sense, right? I, I was really hoping the characters would be incorporated more, but they're just to the mix up the play style, really. And it's probably not the biggest con in the world, but it was worth, you know, pointing out. It is an arcade style game, and I guess you can, you know, look at these characters as extras since most of them aren't even from Cotton to begin with. But it would have been nice to have them part of the story. I mean, not everybody plays these games really caring about the story. They just want to get into the action. But I still think it would have been a nice touch. Now, the only real con that kind of, I don't know, pops up for me, I guess, besides little tiny nitpicks is um, even though it does appear that there's room for two players to be represented in the user interface, it's a single player experience only. And I only bring that up because it's unfortunate because I see there's an arcade exclusive version that allows two players. So that would have been nice to have here. Maybe down the road it can be added. I mean, who knows? I don't typically count on things like that being added to games like this, but it would be cool to get eventually. I mean, it would be even cooler if it was just part of the game, but you know, just had to mention it. It's a one player game. So despite my, my couple nitpicks that I had here, Overall, I, I did really like the game. It has a nice variety of stages, enemies, and bosses, and the game looks really good on the Switch, and it, it plays very well. There's no weird input latency or performance issues that I noticed. You know, I've played all the Cotton games in the past, you know, and this one, it really does hold its own, and out of all the recent releases and re-releases, it's, it's probably my favorite Cotton game. If you enjoy shooters, I say it's worth checking out, horizontal shooters. The cute em up style isn't going to be for everyone, and it's not a subgenre that I go out of my way to find games in, but this one really was fantastic. So if you're interested, there is a collector's edition available via Strictly Limited Games, and it's limited to 2,000 copies worldwide for the Nintendo Switch and 1,000 copies for the PS4. Looks to be about halfway sold out as of the recording of this video, so if you're interested, check it out. I'll put a link down below does come with a ton of extras and a numbered certificate of authenticity. Now, the standard edition of the game is also available through Strictly Limited Games in a limited version that is also individually numbered, and it has a different cover than the wide release standard edition version that's being sold through Amazon. So, hey, take a look wherever you want to grab it, right? The game releases digitally and physically through Amazon on May 20th, 2022. Not 100% when the strictly limited versions are going to be shipped out. But there you go. My thoughts on the game. I really enjoyed it. I understand it won't be for everyone. I really dig this style of game. So for sure it was for me. And I had a lot of fun with it. Let me know what you think down below. Are you going to be grabbing this game? Do you like the style? Do you like cotton? Would have you loved to have a two-player mode? And it's already kind of frantic. But I mean, I did see that arcade one that has two players. So it can be done, right? Appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one. Bye.